how about we're gonna limit ourselves to minimum amount of supplies we've got some book with amphora elements and that will give us a gorgeous focal point we've got more papers these are just old book pages for our background we've got the book of course to work in we have colors and this is for the background this is for the shading I decided to use a little bit of acrylic and also markers clear gesso as our medium to work with oh I forgot about just a basic glue and scissors that's it limit yourself to start I think the biggest problem is that you feel overwhelmed I feel overwhelmed with too many supplies with what to choose how about trying to make a gorgeous one page only with a pretty flower and some just a gorgeous background I think it's doable I believe in you I believe in myself we can do something quite fast and easy let's not focus um, ourselves on the final piece let's just enjoy the process so let's make a gorgeous background something silly a little bit of gluing down if you're wondering about this uh, beautiful tulip it's coming from my college books they are on Amazon and the choice is massive it's huge and actually there are three new books out which is two uh, animalia forest animalia so um, forest animals and vol one volume two and also mushrooms you've been asking I can't wait to get uh, get them in my hands so we've got seven books right now all together which is a huge selection and uh, collection of focal points actually I'm gonna fussy cut this one because I think that's all we need once you have a very pretty focal point you sort it that's the truth you are done because I think for all these years I have been always focusing my energy either on the background to make it super amazing or the actual focal point to also <laughs> have something amazing and to to fill in the void of having not so many um, elements that I really love and enjoy using I just eventually have book filled with the most gorgeous flower and what I love about it is that honestly everyone will find something for themselves and as well if you're gonna tell me Marta every page is pretty and I think I'm gonna use every single one of them that's super also I was talking with a friend yesterday and I said to her I said in the books there isn't one single image in it that I would feel like oh it's nice but it's not my style but I'm gonna put it in there no none of those works for those books in those books there is only there are only elements either a full page element or a tiny one but whatever I put it in there it's like it is everything that I possibly would love to use in the upcoming projects obviously with this many elements multiply seven books in general you may have years of work but at the same time how beautiful years those are gonna be but anyway enough of the books however I do feel that some of you never heard of the books yet so if you're one of those I'm actually curious did you just find out about the books let me know because reaching the audience being able to reach to you guys to tell you the story to tell you what's going on I think the social media are playing tricks on us and not always are we reaching to people so if you are one of those who just heard about me publishing books on Amazon for the very first time I honestly would love to know I'm just curious you see I finished university in Poland and th those were one of the huge subject was social studies and also uh, statistics so but actually cheers my friends cheers with the coffee oh that was Lucas if you heard him mm. cheers with the fresh coffee so one of the subject was statistics so I'm just coming kind of my background is sort of statistic person I love finding out things like when we do a live I also ask you where you're from how long you crafting do you craft right now live streaming with me or are you just chatting in the chats you know I love all of these informations in terms of I'm just curious who are the people that watch my videos what is the majority what are your needs and stuff like that so any sort of conversation we get here it's just such a bonus because I can know you better and I can know what to do better and how to improve look at it it's so pretty like it is like your page is nearly done am I right 
So let's move this one and let's just um, make a basic, a basic background with just old book pages and a little bit of shading. I have to say, I, t I show you something because I've done for the first time, I've used the markers for shading on yesterday's page. This one was for members. Look at it. I've used some markers in here, shading her wings and around her and there and the road where she's standing and this. The shading with the marker, it's insanely easy, doable, beautiful. And there's something even better than the crayon. I think it smooshes way, it's easier. It, it's actually distributes the pigment in a very different way. We will see, cause I hope to use that method today with the marker. I love current markers and I have been using them for the last year, but I show you, I've been using them mostly for cards like that, or this one is also done with the current markers. And also Easter card was done with the current markers. So, you know, like I've been doing things uh, with the markers, but in such different way, not ever actually art journaling or mixed media. So I hope you will stay to see how this works. Cause I'm curious myself if I'm gonna repeat the feel what we have here. Actually, I shaded here as well. And to give the depth, oh, sorry, you can't see. In the flower, I shaded here as well. I shaded some of the building. I shaded, like it really, it really, brings everything together in a different way and honestly I was just so tired and bored of using my forever favorite bark color and I felt that maybe it's a time Marta, to move on and find some medium that will just be different and hopefully maybe more people are able to find some markers in their stash uh, so that was that that's all for the members if you're curious you could join my membership it's a it's a it's a way to support my youtube channel more get different videos uh, and also watch the older videos from when um if you even join today you're gonna get the whole history of videos from the past is it three years so it's a great bargain if you ask me um, and the join button is next to subscribe button so yeah it's so easy or the link is in the description box as well below if you open for more the three little dots next to the title or something you get it um, it's very easy it's very easy you it's it, you can choose the, the level how many uh, monthly spendings you wish to you wish to have and you can cancel any time you can go for one month a trial but just know as well that every month on the live stream class I'm giving away f uh, 10 memberships free for a month so be sure to watch the mem watch the live streams but also I wanted to say guys did you know Maybe none of you know. And Lucas told me about it yesterday. Why don't you mention that the live streams are recorded, that afterwards everyone can watch it, even if it's not live anymore. So guys, if you didn't know, live classes, live videos that happened are doable to watch. I'm gonna give you the link to live classes playlist, if I'll remember, if I won't remind me, in the comments some somewhere. Anyway, guys, let's just do a gorgeousness backgroundino. And I love mixing different papers. I love just having fun with adding um, different texture papers. But I just, I'm, I'm junky for old book pages. I just love them. Some people may say, oh, you're destroying the papers. And I'm thinking quite opposite. I'm giving it truly a second life. I'm giving it a chance to be still used in the spotlight, being loved by so many. And I think it's so important to, you know, like, of course we, we have to respect and all, but I think as well, we have to it's, use what you have around. Like books are already there. The trees are already cut and they're gonna either be burned a lot of times, thrown to the rubbish bins, or we may just use them. So I don't quite get the idea. What about you? Do you get the idea where people are telling you, oh, you're destroying the books? Because I completely feel different way. No, I'm sorry. All my glues are finished and I'm glad about it because I just wish to use what I have and really use it. Um, 
how do you feel about all the book pages do you use them do you love them is it something you consider as look at that how cute is this background right now just starting we have three <laughs> three different look i love it i love it and it's gonna be looking gorgeousness on it look at it we have a touch of actually that's so cute we have a touch of um, music notes we have a different i think it's german language or something similar and english and it's a three different books and this is so gorgeous now okay I love adding this paint to the mix however will we add it Marta have a think about it because right now it's so gorgeousness as it is maybe I'm gonna just add a touch a touch like let's see firstly I'm gonna spray some water on top just to see if we can have a little bit of movement going on let's say Oh, there we go. Exactly. Because if you go with the acrylic paint, like, blah, 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 like, 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 it, you're not going to move it around because it's acrylic. It's not watercolor. It's much more harder. But it, look, if you have, if you if you're going to be tricky like me, you may get a little bit of a color diluted with water and this will help you out. So it's much easier to move it. Or you could use a little bit of clear gesso at the same time in the mix and have it all. But having it wet, mm, with the water it's allowing me to actually have a little bit of that now I have to say I'm so excited for the new three books <laughs> we need like you've asked me for mushrooms and woodland animals um, for the last month since I published the first books and I'm so excited to eventually have it and honestly I can't believe it that we have two volumes of animals but they were so beautiful and so many different types that I couldn't help myself to actually really just have two books because I didn't want to I, didn't, I couldn't decide do you like otter more or do you like a bat more or maybe a, a bear or maybe a fox or maybe fennec the white fox so which will I exclude I couldn't and also they were looking at me from the computer thinking pick me pick me choose me please <laughs> uh, yeah so that's that's honestly like that's I was like I can't I can't exclude any of them any okay I'm gonna dry this uh, it's nearly dry but my glue is this is a, mo a movable glue, glue like this glue will move within five minutes but I think with the heat from my gun <laughs> I think it moved but I wanted to say look how this looks like it's it looks like it's happy together now as if they are you know kids that have maybe uh, they're not exactly identical or they twins not exactly identical am i right triplets look but they are together in the color because we just m made the color together on them so it helps them to be together blending and it doesn't look like they're from different worlds right now i i think that's it at least how i I, I see it and now I think it will be fabulous to add some glue on our beautiful tulip I have to say that tulip is something I love so much and I show you do you remember I'm looking around where's that journal page that we've done very long time ago and I think there was a tulip in it am I right one oh I have it I found it one second this this truly a page was a huge inspiration to my books as well. I just loved this vintage tulip. I loved this page. I loved, just so much loved this page. I remember, you loved this page. And I have to say it's inspiration in my mind for the last months. And I couldn't wait to have more tulips, to have my tulip. And it's just such a joy to finally use it. Now, I'm trying to figure it out, some paper that I can use underneath it so my desk won't be dirty. There you go, Marta. So this is a gorgeous tulip and I'm so glad with the sizing of it because it's just perfect for those small journals. Um, if you don't have a journal, I hope you know you can use old books, you can use a uh, paper page only a cardboard honestly you can use whatever you have available in your house uh, and if you're starting up don't worry about not having everything now let's see oh I just love this so much okay we need to move the stem <clears throat> because it is come on because it is not straight Okay. oh I love it now 
for the coloring to work we need to add a layer of clear gesso so let's do that my Lucas washed my brushes but they're all in the water so I need to dry it but that's okay dun 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 and now a generous layer of gesso on top of everywhere guys so that way we can and my voice is still not back on and I think the more I talk the, the more I sound like <laughs> like old machine but I wanted like I, I think I just talked too much recently it's just such an such a joy <laughs> uh, since the book came out to see the whole rush around then that yeah I just talk a lot with my parents they've been asking me oh which books everyone likes the most and I'm like fairies and my mom my mom is like really I'm like yes that's just an example of a conversation and my dad would come in the morning ask me what you working on now what elements <clears throat> you have planned so we'll be chatting my mom gave me an idea for a new book uh, she gave me one element idea and i tell you she asked me about this element to paint it myself a couple of times in the past let's say four years or five years i never did it no i tried once and i just failed miserably and i made now the element that she asked me and it came out so beautiful and it inspired a whole new book that I didn't even plan. So yeah. when it's gonna be out, I will tell you. I will tell you, yeah. I can tell you that it was a bird. I will tell you that it was a bird and whatever comes with it, it was my mom, yeah. <laughs> my page is dry, so that means we can definitely do a little bit of coloring. Now, how are we gonna go about it? Well, pretty simple. Very similar the way as we would do it with crayon. Basically, you go, around your element and grab some water and this should be an easy uh, diluting process what I love about these is the color shades that is just perfect I think for everything I believe honestly it's so easy because you don't have to uh, try your best to uh, to get the pigment out because the flow is just amazing and oh look at it it's just so beautiful now if you add more water look it can spread even more into other places you can even go directly look a lot of pens would break if you touch them uh, on the wet surface these are what these wand because this is a felty nib it's good for calligraphy it's good for drawing for painting but also as you can tell right now it's good for even messing around like that on the wet surface so you can add even directly more pigment if you feel it's like a watercolor in the pen version in the marker version i love how the nib is pointy and it's so much easier to use it it doesn't squeeze out a lot of pigment either but it does work very well if you just touch it and press it slightly now uh, what also is important is that it's not good you're not gonna break it you're not gonna destroy it in any sense and also like all of that pen what you see everywhere there is pigment it's like it feels that it's <laughs> that it's not finishable you know that we won't be able to finish that one now I love that shade this one is I have already said it on the other video it's cool gray tree and number 158 I got my one uh, in the set of the big box which is all of these colors I got them uh, but I know there are some smaller um, sets on Amazon as well I'll give you the links to those brush marker pros now I have my set since here not a single marker ever stopped working they are just amazing like amazing look at this color look at this is one of my favorite actually it's the burgundy color and i think it's gonna match and look at that you can just like the amount of pigment and of course you can you should use either watercolor paper or like here is gesso look it's like a pure pigment coming out look at it it's like it is so intense it is so good you can remove the pigment and all you can mix it beautifully as well look if we just jump in with those I mean seriously it is just divine it's a very versatile product I think because up to yesterday when I used it on the page I really thought that 
they are just markers like you know like very good quality markers uh, let me show you as, as I think oh yeah I've done my own tulip <laughs> with them as well I've done these tulips and I've done these tulips as well like I love on the other channel you know Marami's uh, small craft no simple craft sorry <laughs> I mixed it up so I've done these with the markers like the pigmentation is insane you know it's gorgeous so yeah I'm, I just I'm so surprised because I think I just found my new perfect uh, product to use for art journaling up to yesterday I didn't think of it I didn't think it's I, I don't know it just didn't cross my mind for the for the shading to be honest <clears throat> but today as you can tell, I'm like, woohoo! <laughs> now, I'm thinking, wouldn't that be nice to have a little bit of that red as well going there, that burgundy color? Or maybe if not, the oh, no, it's gorgeous. Look at it. Like, it's helping us as well. One second, I think I went with the burgundy too much on the stem. That's okay. I love that you can mix it up. It doesn't make a mock, really. And I love that you can mix the colors in between. Look at it. I mean, it is divine. And it's just, I think what I like about the most as well is that the pigment is in the water version, if you know what I mean. Which with the crayons, you need to have a little bit of crayon on the, and it, on the paper. And it's much easier, much harder to diluted sometimes if it's too much pigment or if it's not enough or something which with these it feels like so much easier and yeah look uh, you be seeing me using those more and more and more because I think they're so good honestly do you know what would be great to find a green one as well where's the green one mm -mm -mm. is that that I doubt it but let's see oh it is nice though Oh wow, it's not that shade though, but it's gorgeous color, right? Uh, oh look, that's so cute. We can leave that even. Um, if not here, maybe... I'm, oh, maybe this one actually. That's, that's something in between, I'd say. We could choose maybe a little bit of both. Imagine a little bit of green here. And maybe like even green here and then just look it's just an experiment why not to try it you know oh I love it oh. and there is something about the shades that they seems to be I don't know how to explain it I'm gonna jump in with the gray because I think it'd be nice to have a mix of a, a, a feel of a green but not necessarily 100% of a green shade if you know I don't know if that makes sense Marta you don't make sense you really don't but let's see and a little bit of there as well as here and let's see oh I love it do you know what it actually makes it makes that the the, the flower itself it's even more watercolor feel am I right just because uh, the thing uh, because of the color added you know what I also think that when the book is finishing because it's it's nearly like finishing the it's so much harder to work in it am I right I think it is well at least for me now so I'm adding some water okay and just dilute it in places and I think next time what I would do is I'm gonna I would jump in with the green and then on top of that green I would jump with the gray so it's it's okay it's it's not nothing you know it's just the feel that the I love the gray shade so much and because they mix so well it's it's fine but I would I would love to have a touch of a touch of um, green and then the gray not not opposite but it what works as well and there we go make sure to have clear gesso guys if you're not gonna have clear gesso on top you're not gonna be able to do it unless you have watercolor paper underneath it but otherwise it's not doable like it won't it the pigment will sink and into it if it's not watercolor the pigment will sink basically you have to have 
some kind of flow on your surface and it could be clear gesso, it could be um, white gesso, well I didn't check white gesso so no I won't, <laughs> I won't say that. I think I wish for more pigment in here so look you just press it and the pigment co it comes out beautifully. Uh, and also what would be amazing it would be have a little bit of how about a tiny touch of some I don't know cream color no that's too yellow right is there creamy creamy I didn't think of using so many of different shades so there's lots of gray oh I love that purpley color Ooh, wow that's nice we could have a little bit of that because it's something in between the actual gray and pink and purple and all but it's not that pink either oh wow it's not pink and it's not gray and it's not it's purple it's like it's something <laughs> it's something in between oh i love this how gorgeous seriously now some bright delicate beige color oh no that's yellow as well i probably is the same one i grabbed probably the same one as i did oh that's nice that's delicate oh oh i love it one second that is so pretty you can even go on top of your actual element why not now if you dirty the nib you can just get this one off it like that easily and wow <laughs> I just love this so much now you can as well go with your gray and even and chase the actual image even more with the marker because you have you look how gorgeous that is seriously because you have gesso everywhere you'll be fine to just add even darker shades oh wow I hope my hair was my head was not too much in the camera I just realized that it was now and even darker with the other shade oh gorgeous I think I like that you can do so much more with so little supplies right um, and the, the, the I think the fact that the supply is so versatile makes it so much nicer even now I would love you to try my try and visit my other YouTube channel because I just unboxed the markers from brush markers but those are the real brush markers this is the brush marker pro with the nib of a felt one but I just unboxed let me show you I just unboxed I haven't tried them yet uh, I didn't test them yet but I unboxed the bristles the other marker that they have just released and these are real brush pro so brush like experience guys we need to test them out I'm gonna test them on the other channel you see the difference in the bristles in the nib one is we can I guess have a little bit of so if you probably go with this one it's more solid with this one is all oh, like a brush that's probably the most important difference in them right so uh, with the calligraphy way I don't know because I'm not a calligraphy per se but yeah for the calligraphy artist I think it's a treat unbelievable treat uh, probably that that will tell you the most like this is like that and this is like that so this other one oops no this other one is more and you may like it more I couldn't see them uh, yet available for sale I don't know I need to ask Karen because the thing is that uh, I had those brush markers sent to test so uh, I didn't have to look online and when I did go I couldn't find any so I'm, I'm gonna hopefully have some info to you but I just wanted to say that I love it so much now I sense it maybe it's a little too much maybe but look maybe it's tiny too dark but how about look look at it it's so easy because they are water-based because we had primed our project Priodis pre pre yeah uh, so it's it's like it's doable you can move it around but because it's such an easy and forgiving tool medium 
I think I said it enough already, right? <laughs> I think I, I think I, 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 I made you believe that you need those. Well, for upcoming projects, I will be definitely playing with the shades with that. It's just a different experience. It's like a watercoloring with the collage, I find. So I love that idea. Wow. I love the, the the touch of that yellow. Can you see? Can you tell? Because I'm telling you, this end of the book is just so much more harder to, to have keep. Now this green, a little bit of that maybe. Just, oh, I love it so much. Just a touch here and there. You can probably be even like, yeah, like really, you know, a little bit of um, less less cautious of what's going on and just go with it and I don't think you're gonna make any mistake in that sense anyway I think as well what I would love to see is I would love to see some splashes being done but let's try this first I have to say my friends I have to admit something I didn't think I'm gonna feel inspired that I will inspire myself that sounds weird but that's exactly how I feel I'm looking at this coloring thinking how beautifully it looks and the fact that we have a shade of yellow there a little bit of pink pink and green so the shading is really done with the thinking it's not any other shading and the fact that we have three different four different colors I like that because for the past years I've been jumping in shading everywhere with one color which now this is like a new idea that just came in to me and wow I like I love it I hope you will love it as well so by saying I just didn't think I can be even more inspiration to myself so that's so great because uh, coming up with something fresh and new and different I think it just it will we, we all will benefit from it right I'm doing a little bit of outlining I love the outlining idea and uh, my pen actually <laughs> isn't that great but Overall, it's actually okay because then you you may not need that much of a pen. It's not as dark or something, right? But I have one more, of course, because I do. And yeah, there we go. That's done. That's super job. Okay, I think I would love a little bit of a title. I know I said five supplies, but I think I would love one title, one there. Different is good. What would match? I have also this um, this one, which is Love and Love Will Happen. This one is from AB Studio. If nothing ever changed, face the world, the world. Uh, don't be afraid. Share the good with share the good with others. I like that. Albo or follow follow your dreams. I'm going to jump in with follow your dreams. I'm going to jump with follow your dreams. Yes. Definitely. Most definitely. There we go. Uh-huh. I think this will be so good with it. Now, look at this jumping now to pick up Hannah from school. So I'm going to have a few more minutes and maybe this means I could be inspired for one more page. I wonder. I actually would love to wait, make one more page here. Maybe different color flower or maybe butterfly, similar idea. I love, like look, you've used, we've used, oh, I love that. And that actually is so gorgeous. Oh, this is so amazing. It is so perfect. Like I don't like saying things perfect because things shouldn't be perfect they're never perfect <laughs> but this one is so perfect I'm sorry oh I love it I love it glues come on glues it feels that all of my <laughs> glues are just not there okay wow you see it's a simple page it's a short page it's but it is also you know there is technique in it so even though the page is small even though we've used limited amount of supplies like super limited amount of supplies these stickers if you're wondering they're gone this from 2015 unfortunately uh, even though even though this is sort of simple I still think it's just amazing you know one second now there's no clear gesso on it so be very careful because um, it won't be moving on your surface because of lack of gesso so what I may do is I may just add a tiny touch of tiny touch of 
um, color but mindful about the mindful about top because if you will go over or something it won't wash off so uh, from the top normally it would wash off but not if you have not, not if you have not primed it oh wow now question is are we doing splashes seriously what a difficult question Marta but it's always the same do we do splashes I think I would love splashes however I also feel that it's such a gorgeous car card well car this could be on the card easily we can do cards like that would you like cards like these <gasps> imagine we could make cards like this a set of cards with flowers painted flowers sort of painted like semi painted half painted three quarters painted <sighs> I'm not gonna make splashes guys here because I think it's so gorgeous without the splashes however I do feel that th this could be a little bit darker there we go something like that because it's just not there we go yeah something along the oh maybe that's too much that's okay you see and I won't be able to wash it off now because there's no gesso which is okay don't worry don't worry we can try to make this more distressed or something but it's gorgeousness wow now I may just do no actually I won't I just do a little bit of outlining with the pen and I think we can happily say that this is done and dusted oh I love it my beautiful friends I love it let me dry this quickly. I so love that. Thank you so much, my beautiful friends, for watching, for being here, for getting the books, for supporting, loving, for comments, shares, and watching the videos, most importantly. Thank you, thank you, thank you forever. I'm so forever grateful. Uh, let me know, would you like me to make cards like these with the mixed media cards, a little bit of art journaling on cards, because you can really move this into your cards easily, like... Anyway, I'm gonna let you go and let me know your thoughts. I'm all ears. Be sure to check the markers. I'm gonna give you all the links in the description box. Karin markers, if you're wondering. These are the markers. These are the markers. This is the way to go. I'm telling you for our future projects for sure. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful, lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.